Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the uh, Iron Man project. Uh, today we'll be starting these brand new uh, EBC rotors and brake pads. I, uh, mentioned, uh, I mentioned them in uh, my previous one of my previous videos uh, and today we'll be doing that along with uh, a good old uh, oil change on this uh, Jeep with placing the ceiling. And then once we um, actually take the oil pan off, see if we can't get up there and see um, exactly what is uh, banging around up in there um, as well. And possibly, maybe uh, switching off the exhaust system on the Jeep. So I'm actually um, at a DI, DIY, it's a do-it-yourself um, auto body shop. So very handy I recommend if uh, you have one in you know your local area to uh, strongly advise going there it's it's cheaper um, I think than actually buying uh, your product because then you get the whole 100% um, guarantee of everything as you can tell it's on a it's on a, up on a stand um, and they give you this, uh, all the tools necessary in order to do this project. All you have to do is buy, buy the upgrade or replacement part and bring it and then they'll supply you for the rest. Um, and actually, pretty is like $20, $25 an hour. It actually, it's a pretty good uh, deal, I think, uh, so far. So what we've done right here, as you can tell, is replaced the, the rotor and gave it uh, brand new brake pads with the ones I told you about. This is the EBC 6000 series um, that I put on and um, get up in here that right there is the valve for it and we later on will be uh, bleeding the brakes right after we have uh, completed this the change up. I went ahead and uh, completed the front one and um, get over here and also completed uh, the rear one I will be showing you um, on the other side exactly um, how to do on um, both front and rear it is uh, exactly the same uh, way on the other side on all four sides so um, let's see not nothing um, difficult really about the front or uh, on the rear it just depends on how old uh, the vehicle and the rotors um, actually are on the front one it was a little bit harder to get the brake uh, brake system off because it was, uh, it was just kind of like rusted on there and still got the, got a hammer knocked it off after that it was good to go but Without uh, further ado, um, let's get right into, um, we'll do the front one and then we'll go directly into the rear. All right. Okay, so this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the front driver's side um, rotor. As you can tell from here, it's uh, pretty rust, rusty. The, right here, it looks um, all right. Um, but like I said, this uh, this Jeep has over 200,000 miles on it, and the road has not been replaced. But you see my right so far. Um, like I said, if you have like rust spot on your uh, on your bearing here, um, just simply take a wire brush to it and wire. Like what we did is we just you know took a wire brush to it and um, simply just scraped off all, all the rust and stuff. Eventually we will be have to uh, be replacing uh, the, the bearing, have a new system on it. But for now it's just uh, the rotors and the brake pads. And right now, uh, so um, we'll get started in taking off the, um, excuse me, let me get a better, better angle here. For you, for you, uh, ah, crap, here we go. Right. And then we'll be taking off the brake pad system uh, with this bolt 
and if I can in this bolt right here which is on the bottom and then once you do that it's as simple as you want to top you know start from the top and just push this out and then uh, simply fall off and then once you're done with this have it in a position where it's not hanging on this wire right here so either zip tie it to here which will which is what we're going to do um or have it you know sitting somewhere where it's not going to be in the way and it won't um it, it won't damage uh the 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 brake line so so what we're going to do is we're going to do that right now uh did you want to get started try to get a good angle right here and show you So what he's doing right now is he's taking off the top bolt. Now he's uh, beginning to take off his, the bottom bolt. After he's done this, it should be as simple as just prying it off with your hands. Obviously, don't want to damage it too much. If a hammer um, is uh, necessary, do just try to do a light uh, tap uh, so you can uh, so you won't damage the actual brake system on it but looking at it, it should come off fairly easily. You have the zip ties? All right, perfect. So, now I'll start from the top and push. You need a hammer? Right there, yeah. He said it's very, uh, it's very old so, uh, right now, so it's a little tricky to take it off. If you're actually changing out um, pads and rotor for the aftermarket, um, and a little bit newer, it should be easier to come off, take off. I mean, got it. Hammer. And at this point, we'll get a hammer and try to tap it. This. Got it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is off. Now what we're gonna do is simply zip tie it onto uh this is the suspension itself, the coil. Got it, I got it. Oop, no it don't. All right, I'll do. Do you need a bigger one? Or? <laughs> right. oh. And so there you have it. We zip tie it right to the coil. Zoom in, as you can see right there. Um, I suggest going through two loops, or go through uh, two, two of these. That way, it can't really, uh, can't really move or anything. So now, what we're going to do is just simply all you got to do is slide off the rotor, just like that. And then, once you've done that, get in and see if you need to do some uh, more of the wire, wire brush, which we will. Yeah. If you actually have a, um, a wire brush that hooks onto a uh, drill, or a drill, 
that actually um, would work better and you could probably get most of the rust off but we just have the wire brush so we will do it by hand as much as you can and then later on either replace it or try to get it to a back factory new as much as possible coming off as much as I would like but it is coming off Doing good here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think better. Oh. Alright, well that's gonna be as good as we get it with this um with this brush right here. I mean it's not perfect, it's not doesn't look brand new, but I guess we'll just not have to replace it eventually. It works fine so far. It's just don't I don't it doesn't look that good. So and it will with this rust, it will eat away at it. So the only thing is the reason why I'm not tackling this part today is it is a bitch to work on, especially the rear ones. Um, so, yeah, right now we're just gonna leave it. It looks pretty good. A little rust, a little rust right there, actually. Let me, let me see if I can tackle it. A little bit. Okay. Get this air holes into it. Good as gonna get. At least, at least we got most of the chunk, uh, big pieces of rust off, so it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I don't know. Maybe they like, get some like entire rust material to put on it or something later and down. I don't know, but it seems to be working fine. So we'll go ahead and get the take that back. Go ahead and put the brand new rotor system, rotor, not system, uh, on it. And just like that, all right. And just like that, you got you have a brand new uh, rotor on there. Spins, everything. Um, one thing uh, I, I did forget to mention is when you do get aftermarket rotors like the ones we have, um, make sure it's the same size as the uh, the original one. You don't want like a too small rotor or too big rotor um, aftermarket part. Put it all on and then realize you know it's it's the wrong size and end up you know damaging the vehicle or damaging uh, yourself so that is one thing uh, you you should uh, you should always check before 
uh, installing aftermarket parts to make sure it's the same size or uh, if not or they give you uh, proper instructions to replace the, uh, the original ones. So now what we're going to do is um, take this off, get a Oh, hang on. Get a nice some wire clippers right here, and I'll have my uh, brother-in-law hold it while I clip it. Bam! Take it off, and all you gotta do, set it down uh, somewhere where it's not pulling. Set it down like uh, just like that. All right, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, take this off and then once we do that we have to get this piston flush right here and we'll show you how to do that uh, right now so put ply right, ply right there it'd be easier and push try to push up like with that thumb Voila. and there you have it uh, one pad off now this right here is um, well it's just a device nice little device to help you uh, uh, push the piston back now you could use just regular old C clamp uh, get it down there get get it like right here and then put the thing oh sorry right like right there and just clamp down until it's flush this is a nice little handy little device that you can uh, you can put it on uh, put on there and actually uh, I think it works a little bit better now you simply just put this pad on right here onto here and I have him do it right now just like that um, and simply all you gotta do is put in just like that and make it right now right in the middle and right, 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 right about there yeah that's perfect have it kind of, you want to make sure you want you want the thing in the middle like so kind of line it up with these lines right here with uh, with the round uh, round disc and then this flush like it like acting like it's the other uh, brake pad right and once you do that you got a good nice teal, um, teal sorry a uh, nice seal on it go just proceed to uh, crank it up and get that thing get that piston flush another thing that might actually uh, help make this easier is uh, if you crack the uh, master cylinder uh, master cylinder master cylinder for the brakes uh, just crack it open and give it a little little air it should be easier to turn and then and then voila you have a flushed piston all right once that's done you simply unscrew it like so and then you simply proceed to take off the other piston which you all you gotta do my piston my I'm sorry brake pad which all you gotta do is just pull back on it boom there you go both brake pads are off and piston is flush and we will and we are ready to um, we're ready to put the brand new um, brake pads on And these right here are the brand new, er, brand new brake pads. Um, as you tell from, oh, actually here. Let me, let me get a little comparison. Hang on. All right. 
So as you can tell, this is the old one. Old brake pad. Nothing but metal. Starting, you can kind of see starting scrape metal against metal. Compared to the new one where it has brand spanking new padding on it. Looks nice. Uh, and this right here, this um, black part right here is uh, uh, squeak squeak proof. Oh, my bad. Excuse me. Squeak proof um, for the brake pad. So when you you know you know you always have that annoying car next to you that you're coming on to a stop ladder, stop signing, that screeching sound. Well, this right here will actually help prevent it from squeaking. So you don't have to put a uh, lube on it at all. So it's just ready to go. So hand that back uh, to him. And we will begin to install. Simply just push it back. Like so. All right, and then it's good and tight and uh, Flush. I'm gonna make it deep. Make sure it's evening. It, ah, even. Does it look even. Mm. All right. That looks good. Uh, good enough for it. All right. And then put the front one on. All right. So now. With the brake pad, front brake pads, and um, the front rotor, you can easily tell front rotor is thicker than the rear, which you will see in, here in a minute. Um, and when you get it, it will have a sticker that, well, that says L for left and R for right, of course. And then these, they're the bigger ones, so basically think front big, back small and these also say right I have a letter R or L for right and left so um, just just for you, uh, FYI All right now now that it's um, both pads are installed and it looks strong and ready to go we will simply put the brake system back on now this part can be tough we <laughs> What you want to do is you want this even on here first and then this part go in so it's almost like like how he has it angled that's how you want to go in so now as we, it's going to be a little bit tough so as we um, put it on you want to, want to hold hold the rotor because it will move So as it's right there, and you just simply push it on to make sure that the bottom is going to stay on there. Now, hang on, I'll be uh, he might need help. All right. As you can tell, being a little it's being stubborn. So just make sure that uh, screws here are all the way back. Come on, bitch. Ah, that's why. All right. Why aren't you going in? Oh, 
bottom's down there flush. Where is that hammer? I wanted so make sure that these are actually uh, touching each other all right and you just gotta you know there just gotta be a man about it and what's on there oh, what's going on Uh, now just all you gotta do is um, all you gotta do is just put the ah, the screws on. And once you do that, always hand tighten. Never uh, never just go straight for the wrench. Doing the bottom one right now, and then oops. Now, uh, let me just get a socket wrench up in here. See, there you go. Sometimes it get loose. All right, there we go. Tighten that and then get the top one. 
Make sure the rotor still spins. All right, and we're good to go. That's the front one. Now we're gonna go over to uh, the rear one. And we're going to go to the rear one. Try to do that. That one's a little bit more tricky because it's just a smaller, smaller rotor and smaller pads. Throwing that lot, lot that uh, that room for it, so we'll go over and uh, check that out. Thank you. All right, so this is the uh, rear um, rotor and brake system. I have it replaced it, as you can see. Uh, we just gave it a quick uh, scrub. Let's zoom in here. Oh, zoom back. See, it's kind of it's a little rusty, but. Um, it's looking a little bit better than it was before, so like I said, it's not a permanent uh, solution, but for now, just try to get out of that rust. The longer it has rust on there, the the more more it will get rusted, and uh, yeah, we don't want that. So yeah, just after he after he gets done with that, we'll. Uh, change it out so are you ready yeah all right so concept of this it's pretty much the same well exactly the same uh top boats you know where you got of course you got your rear boat and um the reason why it's a little, a little bit more uh difficult to say because it is it is smaller as you can tell not a thick and Smaller brake pad, but you got all these. Uh, this clip right here, you're gonna have to press down like so, and then take off, and then to, to take, then take off the brake system. So, so it's kind of it's a little tricky when you only when you're by yourself doing it, but since uh, there's two of us, it should be a little bit easier. So, if you want to go ahead and take those bolts off. One bolt here. And once again, taking the rear bolt off right now. Zip tie. Uh, well, actually, we don't need a zip tie. Um, you don't need a zip tie for this one. Only reason why I say no is because the cable here is shorter and don't really want to. Oh, maybe actually. Actually, never mind. Uh, scratch that. We will put a zip tie right here on it. So stand by for that. And these bush and these bushings need to be replaced. All right. So now, simply. I'll hold down the clip as much as I can and there he goes and simple as that now what we'll do is we'll, we will let's see how we're gonna do this like that right there I'll hold it he's gonna zip tie it through two of them I always want to go through two And then, bam, just like that, sits there, hangs there, and you can play all day. So just take the rotor off. Yeah. Shit. That just snap. This is all crack. Yeah. Most 
have happened a while ago because there's no pieces in here. Yep. Some bitch. I think this might need. Do you see this angle here? See from this angle? Yeah. Because uh, I think it needs to be replaced. Eventually, yeah, but. Do that later? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that later. Right. If you wanna go out and buy it. I don't even know how much something like that would cost. Not cheap, I would expect. What the other side looked like, was it okay? Yeah, the other side was fine. This is only this part is fucked up. Alright, anyways, now get the new rotor. And simply get the, uh, have the new rotor system, uh, rotor plate on there. Put it on and bam. Brand spanking new. Looks good. All right, now to simply take that off and have it there. Bam. The reason why we uh, we zip tie it and um, I'm showing you guys the zip tie it here is because when we take these old rotors off. We don't know what we're going to expect inside. There could be more damage that then we're going to have to go and we have to fix or go and replace. So we just zip tie it there to sh uh, show you that um, for like a long term you know, effect. That way, you know, no strain is being held on the brake cable and so on and so forth. But they look pretty good. Um, th this. This one will need to um, be replaced soon. Not the rotor, the, um, the mechanics inside. Uh, but we just don't have uh, the time and the uh, money right now. Well, we don't just have we don't have the time for it uh, at this moment. So we're just going to put the new rotor on, put the brake pads, bleed it. It should be good to go. If something does happen, then we will uh, come back to this. But for now, with this, all you gotta do is simply do the same thing. Place it like place it like this, and take the front pad off. So now, like I said, this this one's a little bit more complicated just because it's smaller. Can't really get a good grip on it, so. Stand by while we try to take this out. Is it coming on? Yeah, see. There he goes. Boom, that one actually came off a little bit easier uh, than the original. And see the old, old one? Alright, so let's take a look at this one. As you can tell, metal. No padding whatsoever. You see those ripples? That is a sign that you need to replace it. So, good thing we're replacing this. Um, has, like I said, has the um, seal proof or squeaking proof, whatever you want to call it. And be getting rid of this uh, ASAP. So now. What he's doing is exactly the same thing that we did in the front. But it's be a lot smaller uh, wheel or disc, let's just say. Well, it's a lot smaller disc being used. Got it? All right. I'm going to hold this while he, uh, he does it. Good? Alright. Should be nice and nice and tight. May remember make sure it is uh, flush uh, with the piston. If you want to squeeze it evenly. Alright. Just kinda help him out here, hold it. Okay. All right, and it is flush. 
Perfect. All right, now you simply just take it off. And then you'll just snap it right off. Boom, done. Perfect. I'm just kind of go in there, clean it out. A little rust, sparkles, or something, dust, you know, whatever. Just kind of like go in, try, you know, see that little, little bit of dirt there. So now that we got this off, we'll simply put the rear rear brake pad on first, and then we'll put the uh, front um, brake pad on, and then after that, it's just simply putting it back on. So let's get that here. I'll hold, I'll hold this while you use both your hands. Now, like I said, since it the it is a newer brake pad, just uh, expect it the prongs. Um, or the yeah the prongs to be a little bit wider than uh, than normal that's yeah, okay just put it in as much as you can go from the bottom one and then yeah it looks like that and there you have it brand spanking new brake pad on there perfect fit Like I said, make sure it's flush and even. Yep. Now with this, you just, oop, it's got a little bit trick here as well. Got that side on. Make sure, there you go. You wanna make sure that it is in its little groove area. Um, that way it won't go anywhere. And it's a perfect, nice snug, perfect fit. So now what we're gonna do is basically put it back on the rotor, screw in the bolts and it should be good to go. Remember, bottom, then top. So you want to make sure the bottom it hooks in first, and it's good to go. Make sure the rotor is flush. Oh, it's really go that a lot, you know? Make sure that. Oh, no, that's not right. That should be even right there. Oh, that's so bitch. Yeah, like that. Push, push. There you go. Yeah, it did. And there, oh, all right. Well, and there you have it. You have uh, it's on. It's good and tight. Now uh, just simply put the bolts in, and you're good to go. Remember, always hand tighten first.
with the red, uh, sock wrench. Sure. This is a little bit easier. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, all four row brand new brakes and rotors, rotors are on the Jeep. Uh, that is the how to video of installing the front and rear um, rotors and disc brakes. Just um, once again, just a reminder remember, uh, front is big rear small so the front you can see has like these little these little air vents it's thicker um, the brake pads are thicker and bigger so that's just remember that and uh, yeah and then once you um, with your old rotors just throw them out or if you have a place that recycles them cycles old parts just go and give it to them uh, that's what this place here does they take old parts and cycle them so it's actually uh, better than just throwing them around or leaning them around to rust in your garage so that's what we're gonna do now what we're gonna uh, do is bleed uh, the brakes so we'll hit right on that and uh, show you guys how to do that 